Hi, uh, I'm just going to bundle a load of stuff together on Buddhist ethics for this revision video of the AQA GCSE Religious Studies paper. And we're going to look at Karma, Karuna and Metta. I will probably have repeated myself from other videos, but so what? That's what revision is all about. And you have like two days until your exam, so good luck. Basically, Karma. Actions have consequences, but that is way too simplistic. It's not just your actions, it is the motivations behind your actions. And these are all boiled down to whether or not you act skillfully or unskillfully. The Buddha said that skillful actions lead to positive karma or build positive karma, and they're motivated by generosity, compassion, and understanding. Whereas unskillful actions are motivated by the three poisons of craving, hatred, and ignorance. So we had this quote before, Dhammapada 127, not in the sky, not in the middle of the sea, not entering and opening the mountains. Is there a place on earth where standing one might be freed from evil actions? Which ultimately means, I'm speaking really fast because I need to burp, you can't escape the consequences of your actions. Buddhist teaching says that karma will not only affect happiness and suffering in this life, but also future lives. And then in the other video, we looked at the wheel of life and dependent arising, but we're not going to do that here. So the four sublime states are the four qualities the Buddha taught all Buddhas, Buddhists should develop. Loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. Compassion is karuna. This is the recognition that a person cannot be happy while others suffer. You need to empathize with the suffering of others and help to relieve the suffering of others. This is also about being self-compassionate and looking after yourself. So the Dalai Lama Tenzin Gyatso said, if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. This is a great quote to learn for the concept of Karuna. And this one, honestly, will also work really well across the board in the themes paper. So let's have a look at the next one, Meta. Oh, by the way, I did a god awful uh, Karuna and Meta rendition uh, of uh, Hakuna Matata, The Lion King. That video is knocking around somewhere because I lost a bet with my students and I uh, owe them, I will punish them. Anyway, Meta, loving kindness. Uh, loving kindness is one of the four sublime states and it's essentially a meditation and it's a meditation focused on the development of unconditional love for all beings and the way to do this is to meditate on the concepts of may I be happy, may I be free, may I be safe and may I be loved. You do that for yourself first and then you do it for a good friend or someone you love. May they be happy, free, safe and loved. And then you do it for a neutral person so may the coffee shop lady be happy, free, safe and loved. And then you do it for a difficult person. May Trump be happy, free, safe, and loved. And that just made me feel dirty doing that. And then you do it for all four. And the idea is if you can develop meta loving kindness for all beings, then essentially you're getting closer to enlightenment and the world would be a better place. Uh, Tenzin Gyatso again, the Dalai Lama. Just as compassion is the wish that all sentient beings be free from suffering, loving kindness is the wish that all may enjoy happiness, which is really nice. Uh, yes, we use the analogy of the monk and the tiger in my class, which is this little story. One day a Buddhist monk is walking in the forest, suddenly he catches sight of a tiger. The monk realizes that the tiger is badly injured, in fact it is dying. He suddenly remembers the poor family in the village. This tiger would provide plenty of meat and a warm fur blanket. What should he do? How would he act with Metta and Karuna? All right, it brings up a lot of ethical questions, but it's a decent little mental exercise to wrap your head around. A good question is to explain how Meta is different from Karuna. And I know I blasted through that really fast, but such is life. All right, good luck with your revision. Good luck with your exams. If I can help in any way, leave a comment. Cheers.